Yo, what's good everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily rig a simple tire, all right? So you can use this controller to do anything. You can rotate it as you please. If you move it on the Y axis, you can move the tire and as you see, the tire rotates. So you can parent this to your car model and just have fun with it. All right, I hope this tutorial is going to be helpful. Uh, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's quickly jump into this tutorial, all right? So let me undo everything I've done, yeah? And let me show you the full rig, all right? This is it, all right? This is the rig we're going to be making. Let me hop over to solid view and you see this tire here is a simple tire I just modeled. So you can use your own tire, all right? Or you can download one just to follow along with this tutorial. Just go on some site and download a free one, all right? Because I cannot provide this one right now. So quickly, let's hop into this video. All right, so let me select this rig and let me delete everything. All right, now let's go ahead and select the tire and hit Shift S and cursor to select it. All right, you see my origin point is at the middle. All right, now let's go ahead and hit Shift A and go to Amateur and add a single bone. Okay, now let's select that bone, tab into edit mode and move this down just somewhere about here. Let's go into our object properties and select in front so we see this bone clearly. Now let's select this bone, let's hit R, let's hit Shift D rather, and R on the X axis 90. Okay, pardon me, let's go ahead and hit Shift S before we do that and select, select the tire and hit Shift S, cursor to select it. And let's hit our period key and select 3D cursor, or you can go over here and select 3D cursor. Let's go back into edit mode, select one of the bones we duplicated before, and let's hit R, RY90. All right, let's select this bone again and hit Shift D, RX90. And let's just move this out some. All right. Now we have this bone. Let's select this bone once more. Hit Shift D. Let's move this on the Z axis. And let's just go back to median point and R about 90, minus 90. All right. Now this should be all we need. Let's go into right view. Let's select this bone right here. Okay. I hope you can see this clearly. This bone right here. And select this one and hit Control P and keep the offset. Let's select this guy, this guy, and selecting this guy last. Let's hit Control P and keep the offset, all right? So make sure you select these guys properly to parent them properly. So you can go some seconds back and watch it again. Make sure you parent this properly because the order is important, all right? Now let's go ahead and tap into Pose Mode. All right, before we go into Pose Mode, let's select everything. And let's just use our search function and just look for recalculate role global z axis all right or you can hit shift n and just select this guy global plus z axis okay now let's go ahead and tap into pose mode all right and let's select this guy and select this guy last let's hit Control shift c and under the transform let's add a transformation constraint all right, let's select this bone, go over to the bone constraints tab, okay? Now, select extrapolate, all right? Now, let's change this uh, target to local with parent and change this owner with local, to local space, all right? Now, go down to map from. So, we want the location selected. And let's just put a value like negative six, negative six and six all right and let's go down to map two and all this in the y-axis please all right in the y-axis map two 360 don't worry about your bone going wonky and put negative 360 all right everything should be back and let's change this to rotation all right I think this should be all. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's select this bone here, which is going to control the rotation of this bone. And let's move this on the Y axis. 
okay we have a problem all right the bone is not rotating all right let's go ahead and try to fix this okay what could be the issue all right for some reason this cleared out so let me go ahead and hit minus 360 oh sorry this should be minus 360 and this should be 360 yeah let's test that out again all right as you can see the bone rotates all right so just some quick troubleshooting while we're at it because surely you are going to encounter some troubles but i'm glad we were able to encounter that problem now and fix it a while going on all right so let's go ahead and finish this off let's go into object mode select this tire select the rig go into post mode select this bone and hit Control p and parent the object to the bone all right so if we move this guy you can see our tire rotates all right don't mind my sh the shading on my tire all right so you can see the tire rotates if we select this guy this guy is the main controller you see it controls that okay so another issue we have right now is you see the tire rotates in the in an inverted fashion all right so let's see if we can fix that let's all right, I'm going to play with this uh, a little bit, so just watch the time lapse of how I troubleshoot this, all right? All right, so I'm done with troubleshooting. All right, so it was a very simple issue. So this should be six, this should be minus six, and this should be 360, this should be minus 360. And I think that just works fine, okay? Now, if your tire is experiencing some sort of sliding, all right, instead of rolling, so you wanna play with these values because this value can change due to the scale of your scene. All right, let me go back to object mode and if you notice from the beginning all i had for controllers was uh, uh, a particular object that controlled everything all right so let me go ahead and show you guys quickly how to make that so just keep watching just stay with me all right so i have this object here that i created all right this guy here so i'm going to quickly go into the rig in pose mode and i'm going to select these guys and press M and move them to a different layer that is hidden. Now I'm going to select this guy and go over to the bone viewport display and let's select custom object and let's select circle, all right? This is the circle object, all right? Now if we select this guy and move, you can see we have a custom control object, all right? So I hope this video was helpful, guys. If it was, do well to subscribe to show some love and show some support for the channel. And if you have any questions, do well to leave it down in the comment section. If you want to see how I made this tire, if you want to see a tutorial on how to make a tire, there are a lot of them online. But if you want to see one from me, do well to hit the subscribe button so you get notified. Drop a comment telling me I want to see a tire tutorial, how to make a tire, and I'll be sure to do that if you can drop a comment, all right? So thank you guys for watching so much. Subscribe if you haven't again. And all right, thank you so much, guys. Until next week.